Theophilus Edujemfi lost more than half of his maize farm when Ghana faced a major invasion of fall armyworm pests five years ago. They eat the floral part of the maize even before they get to the maturity stage. So the plant wouldn't be able to give the maximum crop because the crop is what you get the, the yield from. Uh -huh. So most of the plant will go usually, but the yield that you expect from the crop as bigger as my hand, you will not get it. Darlington Akogo and his team of engineers went across the country to find out from farmers about how to identify pests even before they developed into bigger threats to crop yields. The innovation gives the GPS coordinate of where the pests are so farmers can cut the hours spent manually in looking for diseases on farms. So you want to be able to use technology to understand each plant, understand what they want, and then provide it for them. So that's where, you know, the drones and AI system come in. We can tell each plant, is it diseased or not? And then you respond to it accordingly. Uh, let's see if what the AI system has discovered. But these two trees clearly have serious... Artificial intelligence seems to be cutting down the workload for farmers. And yet, in many parts of Africa, its use on farms remains low. At the University of Ghana, crop scientists have been working for years to understand how to maximize agricultural yields and developing new plant breeds that would withstand diseases. Rita Akweli Ajay is a lead researcher here. On average, it takes you between um, 8 to 10 years to be able to develop one uh, variety that you can call well-developed and ready to be sent out to the market. But artificial intelligence helps us to shorten the uh, number of years. The move from old forms of farming to the use of AI has become even more urgent to sustain food systems in many countries already facing food insecurity.